So if you see me wearing a head covering and you came up and asked me, what does this mean? Why are you wearing that? Is that a headband? Is that a trendy accessory? I would have to say, no, it's more than that. Um, it's not just an accessory, although I do like them to be cute. There's nothing wrong with that. But, um, but no, it's not just an accessory. It's a symbol of a greater truth. And I'll let the Bible speak for itself on that. The truth is the head of every man is Christ, and the head of a wife is her husband, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head, but every wife who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, since it is the same as if her head were shaven. So you see there that God has kind of a hierarchy of his design for authority. There's a chain of command. There's God or Christ, there's man, and there's woman. And this is an eternal truth. Um, we see this in the Garden of Eden when Eve is deceived and she takes of the apple. God doesn't go to Eve first, he goes to Adam. Because Adam was over Eve in authority, so he had to answer for her actions. Um, we see it in Ephesians 5. Paul talks about how wives are to submit to their husbands as unto the Lord, and husbands likewise are to love their wives as Christ loves the church. And these are doctrines that um, we hold dear, and since Paul gives that argument for a head covering, that's what it means. So, so when I'm wearing a head covering, it's not, just, it's not just a headband, it's not just an accessory, it's a symbol of the greater truth of God's design for man and woman, and particularly um, women submitting to their male authority.